Welcome back to Punisher Month. This is the review for the first season of Punisher in on Netflix. Uh, as you can see, I've kind of changed around the set a little bit. Just the way I, I like this set a little more. It just flows better for other stuff too, not just uh, recording vlogs and stuff. Uh, anyway, uh, before we get started with season one, I guess I better talk about um, uh, season two of Daredevil where Punisher makes his true appearance and they kind of cover his origins in there. Uh, they cover, so in season two, uh, I'm, I'm just going to talk about the Punisher stuff, not the overall plot of season two of Daredevil. Uh, Punisher basically shows up, uh, started the episode right off the start of the season by gunning down uh, an Irish mob. Uh, he's off screen, but it's still pretty awesome because it's just like they're talking and all of a sudden just bullets destroy the bar and killing almost everybody inside. Uh, so then when you finally do see him, he doesn't really, uh, you don't really learn too much about him until they start discovering more and more about Frank Castle. Uh, there's some good Lots of good character bits in this with uh, just Frank Castle's, like John Bernthal's acting, playing off of everybody else in the show. It's season two of Daredevil's my favorite season. I have seen season three, and uh, two is still my favorite. Uh, I just felt overall stronger than the other two. Um, so basically, the plot is in season two of Daredevil, Punisher is going after the people who th he thinks are responsible for killing his family. And just to skip over some of the stuff uh, and not really spoil too much for those of you who are interested in ever seeing this, um, I would definitely recommend it. It is a really good uh, adaptation of The Punisher. Uh, he's got some great scenes. Uh, there's one particular scene that everybody's probably seen by now, the pawn shop scene. And that is uh, probably when I was sold that John Bernthal is going to be a great Punisher and turns out I was pretty right. I, he did really well in season two of Daredevil, but uh, now on to season one of Netflix's Punisher. A uh, pretty strong start, I would say, uh, with just a montage of Punisher doing his thing and kind of wiping up the last of people I think I think the idea is that it's the last of the people who he thinks were responsible for the death of his family and stuff uh, then he kind of get he actually does hang up the skull and the guns and he tries to live a normal life but uh, uh, there's there's just something about him that he, he it's just impossible for him to do that he uh, event, he does break down and go back to his old ways pretty quickly and then uh, he does get uh, contacted by microchip so it's cool to have uh linus liberman i think is the name they went with or david liberman david i think they gave either way the last name's liberman and that's kind of the one thing that's been uh if uh about microchip is the last name that's really the one thing that's stuck he's looked so different over the years uh he was a redhead he was he had brown hair black hair like it's changed almost constantly um so they team up and they start uh, figuring out the, this conspiracy involving various um, people, include, mostly uh, Frank's old war unit was up to some shady stuff and they started, um, they were dealing in drugs and using um, basically uh, the squad or the leader of uh, Frank's military unit was using um, their unit as like a hit squad and a kill squad to further his own gains. Stuff like that. Very, it, it's very interesting, and um, but the show isn't also for everyone because again, it's a really slow burn. Like this one, it's twelve epi twelve episodes, I believe, and it's just there's a lot going on, lots of good dialogue scenes, but again, it's very slow. So if you're expecting high action, lot like lots of action, lots of blood and gore, it's. Uh, it's not really there all that much. There, sure, there are action scenes. In a f like, there are some episodes where it's mostly action, and then there's some episodes where it's only like a one or two fights, or even just one fight. I, th 
I'm trying to remember if there's one episode where there is no fighting, and I, I'm not sure. But either way, there's uh, basically the action starts off pretty slow in season one, and then it just kind of snowballs into its own thing. And each uh, action scene is completely unique. Uh, it's all very well done. Stunts, practical effects, everything's perfect for the tone of the show. And I, I guess that's the next thing to talk about is the tone. Um, tone of this one is very dark. It plays with themes of dealing with trauma, dealing with a post-traumatic stress disorder with one character. Um, lots of um, coming home from combat. Uh, themes stuff like that it's very dark and it's portrayed very um i feel it's portrayed in a more realistic light to as realistic as you can be when dealing with something like the punisher um lots of people pointed that out about season one and it was really good writing really strong characters like the side characters are really fun um, really interesting that the, they're not just there to die. They're not just there to deliver exposition like in some of the mo in the movies. Um, here you've got a couple good fun side characters. You've got uh, Madani, who's uh, Agent Madani, who's basically playing the character of um, the cop who wants to catch the people who are doing. Um, like Frank Castle and all the people he's after, stuff like that. Uh, then you have uh, Madani's partner, who who is the comic relief of the show for the most part. Um, so there there is some good comedy bits. The writing's really good. Lots of good stuff in this. Um, but again, it's totally not for everybody. Uh, if Daredevil and uh, Iron Fist and all those. Those are more for everybody, but the really niche ones are, I would say, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, and um, Punisher. So if if you really want to get into the uh, Netflix stuff, start with Daredevil and Iron Fist, because those will be really good starters. But if you really want to continue, I would definitely recommend Punisher. And if Or if you're a fan of these slow burn action shows where... Um, Things just keep ramping up and snowballing until you get an epic finale, which is, well, the last three episodes of the show are fantastic for that kind of thing. So if you're into that, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, you don't really have to know too much about the character of Punisher because uh, basically the show just tells you everything. Um, and they're not like there's a whole lot to know, but it is a very interesting adaptation. Anyway, I think that's going to about do it for uh, season one. I don't want to spoil it because it's really good. And um, we'll be back with more uh, Punisher video game and, of course, the season two review to finish out the month. So uh, thanks, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you next time.